we have to think about different measures of success. And in our view, the way to do that is to think about measures that allow the development of models of business ideas to evolve in the appropriate way. And it's a combination of measures that help us think about the input to the development of new business growth, the process of developing these opportunities, and the output of what really constitutes business success. Input metrics um, typically are things like how many growth ideas um, do we have? Um, how do we think about the number of patents that we have? So a lot of the input metrics that um, pertain to how many um, different ideas and how do you set up the way to think about um, actually uh, establishing a set of opportunities that can go and be evaluated along those lines. In process metrics, in our view, have a lot more to do with learning. Instead of thinking about financial metrics, process metrics really have to do with how much learning is being accomplished as we're evolving these businesses and business models. Businesses are founded on assumptions in the early stage. So how do we come up with a way to take and understand the assumptions that drive the business and be able to identify those assumptions, to be able to test them. And in the in-process world, we're looking to really convert assumptions to knowledge. So metrics that are related to the return on learning investment by the specific numbers of assumptions we've converted to knowledge is a better metric than strictly relying on financials. And then for out output metrics, we can really be looking at those metrics in terms of how many businesses we're launching a year, um, how much of our growth is coming from new growth businesses? You know, what has been our rhythm over the years in terms of how many launches? Those kinds of output metrics that are measuring our ability to successfully launch businesses as opposed to necessarily, at least in the early stage, of how much are they contributing to the bottom line. Because the one thing we know for sure about the measurement of new business growth is it's going to follow a pathway where these um, businesses, new businesses find their market. And in the early days, that means that growth, profitable growth is what we're looking for, but the actual amount of growth that happens in the early stages may be a lot less than what the company is hoping for in the core. But the hope with any of these new growth businesses is that they ultimately lead to being large businesses, but that takes time. So we need to measure uh, the output of the, each individual business more in terms of how soon it gets to profitability than how fast its top line grows.